They are kings and they are kingdoms. They are mountains and they are thrones. But only Yeshua will reign forever. To your kingdom there is no end. Yes, they are kings. And there are kingdoms, there are mountains and there are thrones, but only Yeshua will reign forever. To your kingdom there is no end. A very good morning to you, my dear friend. A very good morning. I'm praying and trusting the Lord that this word of encouragement finds you all today. Today we're taking our reading from Revelation. I would encourage you to read the whole chapter. Actually, I would encourage you to read the whole book. But today we're focusing on Revelation 1. Key verse is verse 6. But just so that we can at least understand what, you know, the message is saying, we'll start from verse 5. And I read for the glory of King Jesus. Says, and from Jesus, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Now, verse 6 and made us a kingdom, priests to his God and Father. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So, my dear friend, I know what it is that you're going through, but I'm here to let you know that we serve a God who is powerful. We serve a God whose dominion shall continue to reign now and forevermore. You know, once upon a time, we were slaves to the prince of the air, that is Satan. We, everything we did was, you know, under his domain. But now the Bible is telling us that we have been freed. We have come out of that lifestyle that we lived a long time ago, yesterday, a second ago. And now we are in Christ. We are in Christ Jesus. So it's now Christ's domain that we live under. We are now a kingdom of priests, or we are now a kingdom and priests unto him. We have been called out of every tribe, every language, every nation. We are now called what Whatever your name is, Jesus. I am Priscilla Jesus. You are whatever your name is, Jesus. You are now his own. You are now his baby. So what that means is that the worry and the stress and the doubt leave that behind and hold on to his word hold on to his promises hold on to what he has said because there's nothing that is impossible unto the lord if he has said it you already have it you just have to wait for the physical manifestation but in actual fact you already have it so my dear friend i'm here to encourage you what the lord has said unto you whether he has told you or you have read it in his word it is yours it is yours and it is yours just hold on to his word praise him worship him remind him or it's not like he forgets but you know bring forth your strong arguments right so remind him what he has said unto you and just keep on thanking him and praising him because you know it's done already now if you're ready my dear friend let us pray to you, O wise, O knowing King. To you, O God, the one who reigns forever and ever. Thank you, Father, for this moment. Thank you, Father, for this time. Father, our Father and our Maker, on the wings of Revelation 1, verse 6, we're here to say thank you because you have made us a kingdom and a priest unto you. Father, we thank you because we have your royal blood flowing in our veins, flowing flowing from head to toe we thank you because we are branded we are marked as your own thank you because no power no demon from the kingdom of darkness can come in and take away this amazing gift that you have given unto us oh father we thank you and right now in the name of jesus north east west south anywhere and everywhere there is darkness we begin to send light we begin you to use the power and authority you have given unto us we crush the scorpions we crush the snakes we crush the cobras we crush them lions we crush whatever it is that does not look like you we begin to face it and we tell it to drop off by fire because if it's not if it's not from you if it was not planted by you it has has no right to be on us and or to be around us and or to be in our environment. Father, in the name of Jesus, we begin to send light. Let there be light, north, east, west, south. Let there be light in the name of Jesus. And I begin to pray also for my dear friend and I, for peace that surpasses understanding wherever they are, Father. Let them know that they are yours. Let them know that 
a very word that you have spoken unto us is for them. And may they stand on it. May they thank you for it. May they praise you for it. May they worship it for it. May they offer themselves as living sacrifices because that's what you want You want from us. Father, to you be all the glory, all the honor, and all the adoration. And we say thank you and amen. Amen. My dear friend, as always, be encouraged, be strengthened, and keep winning. Remember, you are a kingdom and a priest to our God. You've been branded, marked with a seal. You are his own. Continue to reign. More grace.